This is baby Link, born at just one pound two ounces, 23 weeks into his mother's pregnancy and on the cusp of viability. The tiny baby is an identical twin, and doctors originally expected to have both newborns here in the NICU at Evergreen Medical Center, but instead... It's very surreal, and to be postpartum and and a part of Brother Logan is still in their mother's womb. Logan's good, so he's growing a lot, and he's just um, kicking. He's got fluid. He can move around. He was stuck before, so. No contractions. No contractions, yeah. This is one little baby, the baby's belly. Dr. Martin Walker delivered Link, but first he fixed a complication called twin-twin transfusion syndrome. The babies shared a single placenta. So you have a situation where one baby becomes anemic and weak from blood loss and the other baby becomes overstuffed with blood, bloated, and goes into heart failure. Dr. Walker was able to perform surgery in utero, separating the baby's blood vessels. It wound up saving their lives twice. First, it solved the blood flow problem. And then when Holly went into early labor a week later, the separation of the babies meant Link could be born and Logan could stay in. So far, so good. She remains pregnant uh, just about a week and a half since that procedure. And it's a real big week and a half for that baby that's in there. During that time, the baby's grown, has looked healthy. Link is so fragile, his parents can't hold him but they can be with him, celebrating his September birth while waiting for what they hope will be his twin brother's January birthday. Molly Shen, Como News.